everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mary Beth, and today I'm so excited to be a part of this 777 challenge hosted by six kids and a glue gun, Amanda. And we'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment. All right, so <clears throat> for this DIY, I found this bread box at uh, a thrift store and yeah, I cleaned it really, really good. And then I was able to pop this whole thing off. It looked like somebody hot glued it on years and years and years ago. Anyway, so I'm going to be cleaning this box up. Um, I'm going to be getting that hot glue gun, hot glue gun, hot glue off here. And just wanted to say uh, this is so much, such a fun challenge. You had to be able to use the number seven in something. So I chose to use it as part of this bread box in the front. You could have done a wreath with seven flowers. You could do seven different challenges. I was on vacation, so I apologize. I was only able to do one, um, but I'm still happy I was able to join this. So what I'm doing is sanding, just getting this all prepped, wiping off um, everything. Oh, I'm still sanding here, as a matter of fact. Um, and then we're gonna get into painting. But before we do that, we are going to use some primer. And the reason for that, um, usually with chalk paint and that sort of thing, you don't always have to use primer, but um, I guess I should have mentioned I would fill some things in too. So we're still prepping. Um, but what I wanted to mention was about the primer is a lot of times you don't know on that wood if the stain would bleed through or anything. Now I am using a really dark color, so it was probably not necessary, but I went ahead and did it anyway. All right, so this is the primer I'm using, just white, plain white, and then I'm gonna use this beautiful color called Bohemian Blue by DIY Paint Company. And that is what I'll be painting my bread box with. Um, yeah, and then I will catch up with you. So as mentioned, this is the 777 challenge. So Amanda's son was born on 77. So I don't, I hope I'm right if I say 07, I can't remember. But anyways, it's um, her child's birthday and the goal was for her mom to hit 777 subscribers by 777 and she did she did beforehand so congratulations to amanda for that um but all of the ladies in this challenge are very 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 talented and um i will make sure to list their channels in the description box and i really hope you do go check them out um so right now what i'm doing is i'm really thinning out this paint um it's very thick and so i'm just squirting some water in there and getting it to a consistency i like and you'll see this color come on pretty soon i think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah i'll catch up with you in a little bit thanks bye <laughs> I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Okay, so you can see this color is really, really pretty. Um, so it lightens up when it dries. However, when you seal it, that'll be the true color. This is a clay-based paint. It does have some chalk in it, but um, it's all natural. I really, really enjoy working with it. Anyway, so I found this stencil. Welcome to our farmhouse. I thought that was super cute. Um, I made sure to stencil it low enough because I'm going to put that little ribbon around the top of it. And then <laughs> for the life of me, I could not, I could have swore I had a stencil that said number seven. And I didn't, I didn't feel like you know, using vinyl. I just kind of wanted it with all paints. That's why I wanted a stencil. Anyway, long story short, I could have made a stencil out of the book cricket, but I didn't. I went old school here and I just freehand NO.7. It is not that great, right? And my whole thing is, you know what? I don't care because I'm going to distress it a lot um, on this front panel. So, you know, I think it turned out okay. I kind of wish I would have done it a little bit smaller. I can always go back. Um, sand over it, paint again, and redo it. So I may do that. But for the purposes of today, in today's video, this is what I do have. And so then I'll just paint that in the white linen again from Rust-Oleum. Um, and then you'll see me, I'm going to be distressing the whole piece um, after I get done painting it. And then all that's left to do after that is seal it. Very, very important to seal, seal, seal it, um, especially with this type of paint, because if you wipe it with a damp cloth, I mean, you can do wet distressing on it, right? So you want to make sure and seal your piece. So I'm going to use a little bit of polyacrylic. And then after that, um, I just decided to put some flowers in it. But 
you know, you could use it. You could use it for literally a bread box if you like. <laughs> I mean, it's a bread box. Um, but make sure you use food safe materials, obviously. Um, but yeah, whatever you'd like it to use it for. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So I really do hope you let me know what you think. There'll be some pictures at the end. All right, everybody. I really enjoyed um, this challenge and I hope you did too. Um, and I would love to hear your feedback. I just want to thank all my existing subscribers. You know, I'm so, so very grateful for you. And if you are new here or coming over from one of the other ladies channels, I would greatly, greatly appreciate you considering uh, subscribing to my channel. Speaking of the ama other amazing ladies, I will have all their channels listed in the description box. There's a total of us, seven of us doing it, and all of them are extremely talented, and I cannot wait for you to go check all of them out as well. All right, everybody, I really hope you have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah.